Hello. As part of the project Venomous project, I've been using a test driven development TDD. So this means that we write our test before we write any code. So we'd expect to have quite a high level of test coverage. Um, I thought it'd be quite interesting to have a quick look to see how high this is. And we can use one of the tools provided called Coverlet. I know there's a couple of areas where we, I don't have many tests, such as the integration to Slack. So I expect that to be, bit to be quite low, but the rest of it should be reasonably high. So the first job is to install the tool and I'm going to install it globally. See how I installed it earlier. So this is one which helps um, collect the coverage and we've got another one which actually allows us to display the coverage in a nice format. So once we've got the tools installed we then have to add a package to our unit test project. If we look at the project at the moment, you can see by default you, you already get the coverage collector, so it can collect the information, but we just need to add an extra step. Right, so yeah, so we've included the extra package. So now it's a question of running the tests and um, specifying the collector to use to actually collect this extra data. So you can, again, you can use the .NET test command with a couple of extra parameters to say we're going to collect the coverage and the format we're going to output it in. So this will take a few seconds to run because some of my tests quite take a while because they spin up a MongoDB database. too much longer. So once this is finished it should have completed a um, XML file containing the details of the test coverage. Okay so first of all yeah we got some summary information so we've got about an 82% test coverage and as you can see it's now also generated this XML file which is quite big and it's not particularly easy to see so we can now run this file for another tool which will generate us some HTML. So that's the file we're loading in and that's the folder we're going to generate our report in. So it doesn't take very long to complete and then we can display that report in our web browser. <coughs> so you can see um, <coughs> this is what it's analysed So and how good our coverage is. So green obviously good, red not so good. So as we can see down here, we got quite a lot of red. And again, this is the Slack integration, which I know I need to write some tests for. Put that one there. But on the whole, we've got green for other bits. Other than some validation code, which never gets called. It looks like my HTTP client extensions code doesn't get called, or maybe it only gets called by the Slack integration. So my next step is to write some tests around the Slack webhook, and then I'll run this tool again and see how things have improved. <laughs> 